Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this football themed cake. Basically, you're going to go in with your cake mix following the directions on the back plus one egg and instead of using water, we're going to substitute with milk of your choice. And we're also going to be adding in um, strawberry jello and fresh cut strawberries. Now I know what you're thinking, I could have used a box of strawberry cake mix but my experiences with strawberry cake mix have not been in my favor. I usually have to bake them a little bit longer or they don't come out as moist for whatever reason. So as you can see I'm mixing everything in and then I'm going to cut the fruit and fold it in. Keep in mind that this recipe is a quick go-to recipe when you're in a crunch. Now once I have cut up all of my fruit and folded it in, I'm going to use a measuring cup to evenly distribute the batter into each of the three pans. After placing all of my batter into the three pans, I will be taking the pans and placing them into the oven on 350 degrees and letting them bake for 30 to 35 minutes. Meanwhile, while it is baking, we are going to start on our buttercream. And usually my rule of thumb for buttercream is four cups of powdered sugar per stick of butter. This time I eyeballed it. I basically alternated between the powdered sugar and the heavy whipping cream. Now continue to alternate between your powdered sugar and your heavy cream and then once you reach the consistency that you like you can add in your vanilla flavoring or if you're using a different flavor add in that flavor. Okay here you see me putting some of the buttercream to the side so I can color it the navy blue color. So once I get through packaging each of the buttercreams into the piping bags, I will be placing them to the side so that we can get ready and stack our cake. Placing the icing into the piping bag has been a game changer for me when it comes to stacking my cakes because it allows me to get an even layer of icing between the slices as well as the sides of the cake. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and color our fondant using the same color method. And once we have popped out all of our letters, we are going to clean the bottom of the cake board around our cake and plan the layout for the message at the bottom. Once we have decided the layout of the message, we will remove them and begin decorating As you can see, I started with the edible image first, and I'm using piping gel. 
However, if you do not have any piping gel, you can use water and it will stick your image just as good. Now we're going to go in with our border on the top first. And then we will do our border at the bottom. And there you have it guys, our football theme cake. If you like content like this, please leave me a comment down below, press the like button and hit subscribe. And don't forget to click the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye.